Um, I shot by a quote by uh, Jill Duran, who's uh, uh, Jerry, uh, Governor Jerry Brown's uh, spokesperson. Postman. Uh, there's always an understanding that in this draft plan, that this draft plan would be reviewed and critiqued, and nobody will always, nobody will be, will be able to say that there was not a fair critique of the plan. Nothing of this magnitude and importance gets dealt without overcoming some sharp criticism and tough obstacles. So basically, there's, there's, a good, there's always going to be some bad sides. People are going to look for all these like negative effects that they can have on us, or um, or like how we will not benefit from it. But I mean, it is a pretty large scale project. It has to go through all this stuff, criticism, in order for it to be you know the best it can be. Uh, like my partner said, uh, California is still growing, 20 million people in 20 years. Um, according to Cindy Kelton, uh, in an article on UC Davis, uh, new highway construction has become limited by financing barriers, environmental concerns, and development pressures. So, if we can't build more highways for people for the, our growing uh, uh, population, like why, if we're not going to be able to build more highways, like might as well build a high speed rail. It will help us in the future. And uh, this. There's a lot of talk about how we don't have the money, how we're in debt, how we don't want to go back more in debt. Um, uh, according to an article uh, in the LA Times, um, uh, Governor Jerry Brown organized labor. Many members of the legislature uh, and business groups are pushing to start construction in the Central Valley later this year, 2012. Uh, they argue that the bullet train represents a bold vision of progress for the state and will create many jobs. Uh, it will accommodate future growth and help the environment. So, I mean, our own governor is like advocating for this project to be passed. Um, he talks about how organized labor and uh, business groups are pushing for it to, to start too. You know, that's can be another source where money can come in, help pay for this project to like, go along. And um, yeah, so the, the debt in California is there, but this project overall will help you know, remove some of the debt, some of the debt, and even like uh, boost the economy. And uh, when it comes to environmental issues, uh, there, there really isn't like there there will be, but there won't be any in the future because, like I said, it has to comply with the California uh, California Environmental Environmental Quality Act and the National Environment Policy Act, and that's where the final program document was uh, created. So whatever uh, whatever plan is finalized, it's gonna have to be environmentally friendly. And uh, uh, Jordan talked about um, uh, ridership problems. How people we won't know if we're gonna ride it. According to the um, to the uh, the California High Speed Rail Authority document, uh, ridership problems will be mitigated by policies that continue to draw people to reside in California and that encourage high-speed rail as an alternative mode of transportation preferable to other modes. So, you know, the document itself is by you know, finding all these like tweaks that they can have and they're trying to fix it. And uh, another issue is uh, people are trying to fight the system. They're not, not going to want give to up, give up their, uh, their, you know, their place or they're, they're going to want to fight as much as they can. According to the, to the California High-Speed Rail Authority, the uh, report to legislature the document, uh, the authority plans to mitigate this risk through negotiations by offering a fair price for the right-of-way property. Uh, the authority aims to settle disputes through ne negotiation and through transactions that are satisfactory to all parties. Where, however, while it is not a tool, the authority wishes to employ nor will employ lightly. It should not. It should be noted that eminent domain is a tool that the authority has. So basically, in the end, the California will be able to get the property they want, and whether. I mean, they, they're going to try to buy off the property for a fair price, but the people can fight as much as they want, and then uh, through eminent domain, they're going to seize the property.